Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day so far. So in today's video, as you can see from the title down below, I picked up some goodies from Beauty Bay. They launched liquid blushes and obviously I had to get all four shades. I am a liquid blush hoarder. I don't think that there is a liquid blush on the market at the drugstore that's cruelty free that I haven't tried. I absolutely love them. I love the hydration, I love the ease of use, the longevity, I love how it feels on my incredibly dry skin, so obviously I had to pick up the Beauty Bay offering. I have tried to stay away from other people's reviews, they only launched, as I'm filming this, they only launched a couple of days ago, I've tried to stay away from other people's reviews. It's been very difficult because I've wanted to see them and learn more about them, but I wanted to do like a first impression, I'm going to swatch them all, I'm going to try two on because I can only do like half and half and then we will come back at some point and I will do the other two maybe in a different video, I don't know, I will leave it down below whatever I decide to do. However, let's get into the boxes and let's swatch them. Just for reference, I do have incredibly dry skin and I am also as you can probably see, incredibly fair. So I am not doubting that some of these shades will be potentially a little bit dark for me, but I don't mind a dark blush. I don't mind if a blush is that more deeper, plummier tone. I can just blend it right out and I love that undertone of blush. I also like really light blushes. I love all blush shades. I don't think I've met a blush that I don't absolutely love. So let's just open all of these up and let's see what the colours are like shall we. So this is what the outside packaging looks like, the typical like Beauty Bay packaging that we all know and love, all of the information about the formula and everything is written on the back here and then inside that is what the tube looks like. Glass bottle? Plastic bottle? I'm not sure. Feels very substantial, plastic lid, metallic Beauty Bay logo on the top. So this is the shade Peaches. Then next up we have Spring. That one looks a little bit duskier. Then we have Blooming and that looks more like a sort of hot pink undertone. That looks really, really pretty. And then lastly, this one is Reef. And that looks beautiful as well. So let me just zoom you in and we will swatch these on the back of my hand. So I will start with the shade Spring and this is what the applicator looks like. So it's a big doe foot applicator and on first impressions the formula looks quite moussey. It doesn't look like any other liquid formula that I have which is interesting because I have quite a lot. <laughs> um, like I said, I do enjoy a liquid blush. So that does look different to me. Just as somebody who has tried quite a lot of drugstore liquid blushes, I don't think I've seen one that's this sort of texture. I will just read off what it says on the back of the packaging. So it says a multi-use lip and cheek liquid with a lightweight creamy satin finish. The ultra pigmented easy to blend formula uses micro sphere powders to create a soft focus look that can be built up to suit your vibe. Infused with skin loving jojoba and sweet almond oils. So it has that skincare benefit um, and it also has like a soft focus look that can be built up. Um, with microsphere powders to create a soft focus, which sounds incredible. I do like a dewy finish. I'm feeling very matte <laughs> right now, but I do like more of a dewy finish, so I'd be interested to see how this looks by the end, to see if it actually looks matte on the skin or if it does add any of that like hydration dewiness to the skin. So like I say, I will swatch these. First up is Spring. So that is what spring is looking like. The applicator feels quite firm. That is quite a strange applicator, I feel. I don't know, it might just take some getting used to. I will blend these out a little bit so that we can see how pigmented they are. So that is a really pretty colour and I can see from the swatch there that it is looking 
on first application a little bit dewy which is what I was hoping for I was hoping it wouldn't look too matte on the skin that looks really really pretty so like I say that was the shade spring then I think the next deepest shade is peaches which I'm assuming is going to be a peachy shade wow oh my gosh look at that color look at that color I absolutely love that <laughs> let's blend it out and see how intense that stays okay yeah that stays quite intense that is beautiful that is absolutely beautiful oh I love that color <gasps> I will just mention as well they don't have any sort of scent which of course is preferable because scent does not agree with me so next up we have reef and this one looks really really bright as well quite similar to the last one let's see mm. okay yeah that's definitely deeper that undertone is so unique I don't think I have a blush that's that almost like red pink that is incredibly pigmented as well okay you would need the tiniest bit of that the tiniest tiniest little bit of that that is that's intense okay noted <laughs> and then lastly we have blooming and this one looks more like pinky like a true pinky undertone so let's see oh yes that's pretty that's just like a classic hot pink blush again very very um intensely pigmented but also very deep on my skin tone but just imagine imagine like these two on like a deeper skin tone with like some sort of graphic eye oh my gosh they are beautiful they're absolutely beautiful and even like these ones have been on my hand for a little while now the first ones and they do still look dewy and juicy um, and I will say as well the skin on my hands gets incredibly dry even more so than my face so for these to look dewy still on the back of my hand where I have more dryness than I do on my face that's impressive and the pigmentation of that is also so impressive. The only thing is, I feel like the applicator is a little bit weird. Like, if I show you that really, really close up, you might be able to see what I mean. It's, like, quite firm, but also, like, not as fluffy or f as furry as I would have thought it would be. It's quite a strange looking applicator I don't know anything about product development so I don't know if it was made like that for a reason I assume it must have been but that just looks a little bit peculiar to me and I don't know why I can't like put my finger on it maybe because it's like it hasn't got much shape to it it's just long and thin I don't know but I think what I'm going to do is I am immediately drawn to these two shades in the middle so that was peaches and reef so I'm gonna do peaches on one side and reef on the other just to see how they look I don't have anywhere to be it is already like I don't even know nine o'clock in the evening so I'm going to do that let's see how they blend out I will start with peaches <laughs> and I have a brush here I generally like to use this sort of brush for blending out liquid bronzer liquid blush that sort of thing this is the real techniques expert face brush so let's see i'm going to start with just three ish let's see how that blends out okay so three dots like I just did there has given me a really light wash of colour. It does however say that these are buildable so I will try that. Let's pick up the same shade shall we? Peaches. <laughs> and I will just 
do a tiny little bit more and let's see how it blends out over the top of itself see how much I can get it to build up because I do like quite a lot of blush okay I do <laughs> okay so that has built up really really nicely excuse my hair going absolutely everywhere yeah that's built up really really nicely it's adding a nice level of like glow um, it doesn't feel at all sticky despite my hair going everywhere that's just because of my hair that's not because it's sticking to anything um, yeah I'm a really really big fan of that peachy shade that is like my perfect summer shade it's not necessarily the sort of shade that I go for like at this time of year but absolutely in the summer that's gonna be a firm favorite I absolutely love that color right so let's do on the other side reef that more vibrant red shade I'm going to go in with a clean brush so that I know that I'm not getting any of that peaches shade on there so this is another one that's the one that I just did peaches with this is another one so that there's not any cross contamination and I'm going to use reef on this side and that is considerably darker so I'm going to go in with less because I don't feel like I'm going to need quite as much as that so let's see how this one blends out oh that colour is beautiful that's like warmer it's like a I don't know this one is more orangey but this one is like I don't know I don't know what words to use to describe blushes you can see it on my face this is how it's looking <laughs> So I feel like with that second shade, Reef, I didn't need to build it up. It's more of a actual flush for my skin tone. Like this is the colour that I go um, if I'm out in the sun. This is more of like a natural blushy shade for me. Whereas this is more almost, I don't want to say like it's like a bronzer. But it is more of like a warmy this would blend into my bronzer more whereas this is actually the colour that I go in the sun if that makes sense <laughs> so I don't feel like I necessarily need to layer any more up on this side um, but what I am going to do I've just dropped it on the floor so what I am going to do is I'm going to take a dense brush this is the sort of eyeshadow brush that I like to use for like cream eyeshadows and things so I'm going to go into these colors on the back of my hand and I just want to see how these all apply across the eyes I do like to sort of do the same color on my cheeks and in my eyes just on an everyday basis so I want to just sort of mix all of them together because they're all there and let's see how they blend out with a smaller brush on the eyes yes that's blended out so nicely so easily and like not so much on this side because this color was a little bit lighter but on this side where like the blush on the face was quite similar in tone to like all of those mixed together and across the eye that looks like so seamless i absolutely love that so you can also use these on the lips so i will take off the lipstick i didn't realize i hadn't read the box properly before i started this video so i will take off the lipstick and we'll see how they look on the lips as well before i do the lips i can't take my face seriously without mascara so just putting on a little bit of the 5d whip lift mascara from revolution just the tiniest of coats just so that my eyes don't look quite so small <laughs> right so i will go in with the shade spring on lips because this was the lightest one i mean i was just about to show you that on the back of my hand that's useful isn't it all of the shades melted together but how would i go about doing that because i feel like i don't want to just put that straight onto my mouth i'll just take a little bit on my finger and then i will tap it onto my lips from there I feel like I'm not going to enjoy this texture. Mm, it's not awful, but it's not my favourite. Maybe that colour is just a bit pale for the lips. 
let's try a different one. We've got them here, we're all here, let's try a different one. So this is peaches. And again, I'm just gonna take that on my finger rather than going onto the lips with this. Yeah, you know what, it's cute. It works in a pinch. I would use this rather than using nothing at all, but it's not my favorite. It feels hydrating, but also powdery at the same time, which is a little bit of a strange combination. What I feel like this look is reminding me of is the cold girl makeup which was a vibe and I appreciate the amount of blush that went into that look but I feel like for an everyday basis this isn't the kind of lip that I would wear I mean some people absolutely rock it I feel like my mouth is too small for this I don't know I'm not loving it on the lips but on the face and on the eyes I don't know if you're actually meant to use these on your eyes it doesn't say anything about eyes on this don't use it on your eyes I have but don't just in case <laughs> because I don't know I don't know it doesn't say anything about eyes on this I just did that I just did that so that is my final thoughts obviously only on the two I really really like them so these are nine pounds each or you can get them in a bundle and get all four for, which works out a little bit cheaper um but obviously like just pick whichever one you want and you don't need all four i don't need all four like the darker shades i'm probably not going to use as much but i'm glad that i have them so this is peaches and reef let me know if you want to see me using the other ones in a video very very soon i will definitely be using these all the time on my channel they feel great they feel really really lovely and even now like i've been filming for 40 minutes um <laughs> and they still do look dewy and my skin wasn't looking dewy before i used more of a matte foundation matte for me my skin is very dry even hydrating foundations look very dry on me so adding in that glow and obviously it's got like the skincare benefits as well i feel like it looks really really pretty obviously i can't talk about how long this is going to last because it is currently eight o'clock in the evening so i can't tell you how well it will last today but i will obviously keep on using these and i will leave it in the description box down below how i feel they wear throughout the day so if you want to see those other videos or any other testing videos from me i upload three times a week sometimes four generally four like at the minute because there's just so many new releases coming out so if you want to see those you can subscribe down below i will be posting all the time at least three times a week but probably four if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up i will of course leave these links down below as well as everything else i have on my face today if you are at all interested but until next time thank you so much for watching bye